Hello and welcome to my short tutorial on how to use install script to install Kubernetes control using the PS Gallery modules. Before we get started, we first download our config files from our actual Kubernetes install. Therefore, I'm using um, SCP to copy the .cube slash config file from my Kubernetes installation. After this is done, I go to my PowerShell and first have a look at my um, Kubernetes config file. So I do I get content um, dot cube config. And this is the Kubernetes config file I just downloaded with the user and client certificates and all that stuff in. So the next thing I'll do, I use install script, um, install cube control. This will download the actual um, installation file for Kubernetes control from the PowerShell gallery. And I do this as the scope as current user. Otherwise I have to be administrator of my box. Um, I use minus force to get the latest version because I have an older version already installed. It takes a few moments and then the script is downloaded from the PS gallery. Um, after download, I can just start the installation with install cube control. And I can specify a download location, which will also be the installation pass as only the exe file is downloaded from kubernetes.io. So I select the pass cube admin and cube control will go under my current pass cube admin. Takes a few seconds to download the file. Once it's done, I can directly start with my cube control proxy or other commands. So um, before we use kube control proxy, um, I first want to get some information on the cluster um, configuration. So I'm using kube control cluster info to get the current info on my cluster. And I see it's running and this is my endpoint and kube DNS and heapster is running. So the next thing is um, that I will doing, I will kube control proxy which should open up a proxy to serve a web interface uh, and the API interface on my local host. I open a web browser to localhost, port 8001, and it will show me the API endpoints. So if I go then to UI, I have my Kubernetes dashboard um, to work with Kubernetes. So thank you and see you soon for the next episode.